want to be happy? Well, in this video, you're going to be learning three tips to help you get happier. All right, my name is Marie Morin. I'm a therapist and a wellness coach, and I help busy professional women develop a self-care routine so that they can finally bust through limiting beliefs, let go of perfection, and step into their most aligned, confident self. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, ring the bell so you can be updated with new videos. I usually update a video and load it in once a week. All right, let's get started. So in this video, we're going to learn three tips on how to get happy. Well, as you know, I talk about perfection. And the first tip has to do with stop criticizing yourself. Okay, so we're not talking about others. We're talking about you. Stop being so critical with yourself. So how do you do that? Well, there's this really cool technique called disputing thoughts. And uh, a secret that some of us therapists talk about very often with our clients and coaches too as well is to dispute the thought and what does that mean so you're having a, a, a thought and you're criticizing yourself like let's say you just did a project and you had to speak about it and you weren't happy about your performance and you're criticizing and criticizing and criticizing yourself you're like oh my gosh I could have done this I could have done that here's how to dispute thoughts. The key to disputing your thoughts is to take a moment and pay attention to how you're thinking and what you're thinking. So that's the first step. The second step is to compare what you're thinking to accuracy. So let's say you just did a project and you're displeased with it and the self-talk in your head is, I can't believe I did that. I wish I had done this. This was not good enough. I should have been this way. I can't, I'm terrible at this. I'm not really good at doing that. And then you're paying attention to the way that you're thinking. Now, here's where the disputing is. You compare it to what is accurate. Is it really true that you didn't do your best? Is it really true that it was a terrible project outcome? Is it really true that you cannot do it or that you're not good at it? Absolutely not. Most likely you just have a very strong critical muscle towards yourself. So that's in a nutshell how to dispute thoughts. Tip number two, be grateful. I know, I know, everybody's talking about it. It's very common, but hear me out, okay? Being grateful is not just about doing a list. Absolutely not. It's so much more than that because research tells us that we get bored with the same thing every day. And that's why um, a routine that's adjustable, that's flexible to the individual person is really important because on one day you may be into doing one thing and not the other. The, and that's the same way with gratitude. For example, in Robert Emmons' book, Gratitude Works, I love this book, it's always here right next to me. I, can't, I travel with it, I do everything with it, I read it over and over and over again. He has a 21 day challenge and there's a link below, but anyway, these are the options of things you could do. You could do the exercise, look to the future, the absence of blessing, writing a, a gratitude letter, um, the bad to good exercise. There, and there's seven of them in total and there's links and everything. But what gratitude is, is being grateful about a particular person or thing that has done something for you. And that's tip number two. Tip number three, be mindful and use compassion. Yes, I know everybody's talking about mindfulness too, but hear me out on this one as well. Compassion is more than just saying, oh, okay, you're doing okay. No, it's a practice of being able to look at yourself, and I often tell the people that I treat, treat yourself like you would a child. Would you come against a child um, on a daily basis in your thinking? Would you be on the child's side? Absolutely. What about your best friend? Would you turn your back on your best friend? Well, how come it's okay to do that to ourselves? Well, it's not. So self-compassion is more about being on your own side and taking the time to be kind to yourself. So those are my three tips. Stop criticizing yourself. Be grateful and switch it up, right? And number three, 
self-compassion and kindness. I hope this video has been a blessing to you. If it has, please hit the like. And if you like this content, please subscribe, ring the bell, and share. Okay, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!